Okay, hi again, Luke here. Okay, so up until this point, uh, we've created our first list and we've also created our first sign up form. So now, uh, something that I didn't in go into depth with on the last video is that whatever it says up here, okay, whatever list you're on, that's what all of these tabs will relate to. Okay, so I actually set up uh, my sign up form in my tester list. You can see if I go to sign up forms, there it is. So I'm just going to show you uh, what it would actually be if we set it up in my first list. So if we go to my first list, you can see we still don't have any sign up forms because they're completely separate. So I'm going to create a new sign up form very quickly. This will be a bit of a review for you. It'll take two seconds. So I'm going to create my first sign up form. Uh, and then, so we're going to use this one again. I'm going to say opt in. To get your training. Okay, simple as that. Again, we'll get it in the center, save it, save your web form. Oh, we can delete this again, just tidy it up a little bit and go to step two. Okay, training. Training, let's say training free leads okay so you can you can basically split test this so you can make a new opt-in form once for your blog once for where you're getting free leads once for your paid advertising you can set this up to basically depending on uh, how you can remember where you're putting these opt-in forms okay so basic version thank you uh, already subscribed page go to step three. Oh, we need to save that and have a web host my form and there is that link again. Okay. So we copy it and we put it up into our browser and we paste it and there we are. Okay. So it's a very quick process. So basically all I've done then is just set it up for the new list. So now my first list has my free training leads opt-in page. Now, when somebody opts in, as we've covered a couple of times now, they have to go to their email address and actually confirm that subscription. Now, uh, whether or not you keep that feature on is entirely up to you. I choose to turn that feature off. So I come down to uh, list options, list settings, and then we go to confirmed opt-in over the top. So you can go to personalize your list. This is all information that uh, you can fill in and then confirmed opt-in. Oh, and Basically, I come down here and I switch this off. Yes, and basically what this means, save settings, is that now if I fill in or if anybody fills in their information into my lead capture page, then they don't have to go to their email and then reconfirm that. Okay, so uh, like I said, the risk is that they've accidentally put in their wrong email address. I find that that is very, very, very uh, unlikely. Most people know their email address. Most uh, web browsers autofill things like that anyway. Uh, so I find it a lot easier because you have a lot more people actually joining your email list uh, because it requires less effort. That email address, uh, sorry, that email, that confirmed email might get lost, you know, uh, in their spam folder or their promotions folder or who knows. They may never find it. So I find it's easier to turn that off. Now, now that that list is turned off, let me just show you uh, how this works. So if we were to come back to my web form, so my sign up forms here, you can see that I've had no displays, no submissions, and uh, no conversions. Okay, so that's a little bit of a shame. <laughs> it's obvious though. And so when I come here, if I copy this now, again, I make this in a new paste and go. Here it is. So now it's being displayed and let's say I put my name in and my email address and let's sign up. So this could, anybody could be doing this, okay? Thank you for subscribing. So now you can see that the automatic redirect uh, is just a let, saying thank you for subscribing uh, and not uh, directing us to our email address to confirm the opt-in. So now I've come back to my uh, Aweber account and we go home, you can see I've got one subscriber today and a total of one subscribers. So down here on my first list, which is the list that we set up, 
I've now got a grand total of one subscriber. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that for this video. I just wanted to cover the confirmed opt-in uh, and also just a little bit of revision on the web form. So now you can see that it's as simple as sending out the link, sending out this link for your uh, opt-in form, sending this link to anybody. If they put in their information, then they'll be put into your email autoresponder. Okay, guys, I'll see you on the next video.